Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. The Lunatics from Yemen. Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. Get out of here. Good news, we are now on Patreon, Simon! Hey. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's set up like YouTube. It's a platform where people like yourselves support podcasts like us from just £3 a month or 75 pence a week. For your support, you have an extra four episodes a month, uncensored, untethered, plus extra content like stand-up, sketches, live podcasts, only exclusive on Patreon. Patreon is really simple. Uh, you can sign up whenever you want and you can cancel whenever you want as well. We've actually put the link below so you can go on there or you can download the app or you can go on the website and have a look there. Uh, basically, we need all the support we can get so we can carry on paying for the studio, get you guys the best guests we can possibly get on as well. So thanks for the support so far, but get on it. Welcome to the Problematic Pub Podcast, episode 23 with myself, Sandra Ford. Me, Simon Emmanuel. And we have a guest on today, a returning guest, Simon. It's my mate and your mate Tom Ritz who's got the lines then <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to then Tom you've been busy well I had my nan's 40th birthday last <laughs> night so <laughs> just hear my way through the day basically <laughs> <laughs> I'm all good boys thanks for having me back and it's amazing to see you doing so well and I, thanks Tom I'm, I'm so proud I'm like a pro grandmother <laughs> You're that age of Swansea, yeah. Really. Do you know what? Like, you're a pound each after now. Do you know? I, 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 don't tell, you, don't tell your brother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know that's like a, like a joke that people do, like, oh, my grand's 40th, but that's a genuine thing. In Swansea, it is, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, the women who are grandmothers yeah, in their yeah, 40s, yeah. like, I've never seen so many grands at Pentland in Adidas tracksuits. So like, <laughs> well, I saw a woman I know for years ago, and she was there down uh, where the spoon's going back, and she's like. In her 40, I say 45. Yeah. And she had a, she got loads of kids. She had a, like a baby. I said, oh, I've had another one of you. Yeah. She got on with my grandson, she said. I said, oh, fucking hell. I should have gone, I said, how old's your boy? And oh, he's fucking 13, isn't he? Jeez. Knocked his girlfriend up in school. Fuck. 13. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know, and it's like. And the, pa- and the parents are only like 17. So yeah. you have grandparents who's like 36, 37. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're going on benders <laughs> and they're yeah. they kids. Like. You're not fucking human. They're <clears throat> Russian dolls. <laughs> <laughs> They just keep opening the smaller yeah. one inside. Like, just keep fucking going. Like, <laughs> yeah. you have people in, and they like some people like they try for kids, like, really, really try, and they can't get in. They go, they yeah. look at their diet. They look at like times when they, they have yeah, sex, yeah, yeah. food. Yeah, and people in who just love the gear. Yeah, and as soon as they yeah. shag someone, they pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. You yeah. see, <laughs> you see a Jesse Pinkman just walking down in the estate in Penland, and you're like, fucking hell, he's got about six kids with him. And yeah. you're like, wow, yeah. wow. <laughs> Considering the, the the fucking meow, you must have. Bashed in there, <laughs> fucking hell. I, I know someone once who was so infertile, she got furious when she saw the Jimmy Savile documentary because she got jealous, jealous of how many children he'd had. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go ahead, didn't you? This is a bank called a somber podcast. Yeah. I'm drinking Christ water, alive. I'm depressed on my fucking weight. <laughs> I, I, I have put some serious pounds on, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 we're not that blind. chair wasn't wonky last time. <laughs> <laughs> when my chair needs scaffolding support, yeah. you know, no, but a chair so stabilizes. Some, <laughs> some people gain a couple of pounds, you've gained a postcode. <laughs> <laughs> A digit on the phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I've been all about it for a while, like trying to like stop, like slow down and and like exercise. But oh no, it's got the fuck. It's like got gout, gout piles. My my both knees inflamed. Right. Yeah. But, but they, they, they would wear, one of my best mates wearing on a Saturday, innit? And there's all photos, innit? A photo come up of me, right? Yeah. Look at the fucking state. I'm, I, I'll try to put it up. That's <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> Ah, I love that there was none of that politeness. Oh, it's not that bad feeling. Fuck it. Is that you? Oh, fuck it. Jack, I'm going to put it up on the, on the thing. That's me, mate. Jesus Christ, Christ no, mate. mate. I look at the time. I look, I, look like a, I look like a wheelie bin with a suit on. You mean you? <laughs> I swear I used to work with this guy in a call centre. Yeah. <laughs> 
But, 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 <laughs> you know, you get like it's, it's fucking weird because like I remember all, cause when I was a box and I used to train all the time. I, I was all yeah. I was never in shape. I was never like six pack. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I fuck off, that smiley. <laughs> you ain't the fucking. He, he's like he's like a sniper, isn't he? When we say to him, bam, but I don't know what you But I was never like skinny, brave. Yeah. But but I, I think when you train regular, yeah. you kind of keep it a bee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it takes a while. It takes at least two months to notice a fucking difference. No, but what I mean, when I, when I was training all the time, like four days a week, yeah, you know, from yeah. the age of young to older, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I eat what I want because it fucking is older to be. But yeah. once, yeah, you, yeah. once you, once you, st- once you stop training, just smashing the carbs yeah, back yeah, on the conveyor yeah, belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah but once you stop then... fucking training and you carry on eating like a pig, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. become a pig. You are now the combined weight of the two boxes in your one fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the overweight division, hits him. <laughs> For the <laughs> Italian style. You don't need a bad. You look like if I see someone from like I was in school with. Yeah. Some of them look like fucked up. Like I mean. Yeah, yeah. No hair, like, no teeth. Like, yeah. Kids, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I make a point of like go and see him. Yeah. Show him how good I look. What? So, <laughs> what so, show him how good I look. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I walk over and I say, I say he's like, "Fuck, Dick Dave." I say, "Oh, so right." I said, "Right, Dave, what's happening?" And he, uh, like, oh, yeah. He said, "For me from school." And he's like. Yeah, I think like I mean, I obviously yeah. look a lot better than him. He knows exactly what I am. Yeah, I walk off and like, he said to his missus, and I think I was like one of my teachers or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I just know, yeah. It's like I don't, know, I can't remember, but I think he was a substitute teacher. <laughs> I think he was there for like yeah. six months. Always have pick a lily sandwiches all the time. I, I love, I love, mate. You know those people like Tommy, uh, not Tommy Robinson. He's racist as fuck. Uh, Tony, Tony Robinson, the, the yeah, guy the historian. Does, Bo- no, Bo- no, the guy, oh, that the, does motivational the, the motivational guy, motivational. Like, you gotta get. Yeah. Like, oh, no. You should be one of those. You'd be the shittest one. Oh, yeah, like, I know. If you want to build your self esteem, you can do one or two things. You'd even get in the gym, or you can go and visit the smackheads around your area <laughs> to make yourself feel better. <laughs> It's a four day binge You'll be so You're not getting from like, Yeah No but it, 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 it's just hard To fucking lose weight I think oh. Mate you know what's What's fucking Just bad for both of us We're both Italian And we've just got Too many carbs To give up yeah, that, we, love that, we, that we grew up on Do you know yeah, what I mean Yeah yeah it's, it's fucking hard like. It is pasta isn't it our next sponsor is Night Services Wales, one of the leading security services in South Wales. Night covers all your security needs, from alarms to cameras and much, much more. They undertake all aspects of work, from commercial units to shops and also residential work like houses and flats. For your free quotation, please phone 01639 898 317 or 078 106 482 Five six. All you got to do is quote pub podcast when you make the order, and you're gonna get a lovely little discount. Remember, your house ain't right until it's been skewered by night. It's gonna get rammed. <laughs> you, you, when you went over there last time for your your um sister's uh, brother in law's stag, yeah. you said it, it fucked you up a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, and we didn't even go to the. We were we were like we were out just outside Alicante in the in the quieter place because he's got yeah. like uh, he's got autism, so we didn't want to sort of overwhelm him. We yeah, fucking, too many I mean? sounds. Yeah, and so so we kind of like uh, we, we oh he's, I mean he can have <laughs> he's, he's not an owl. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a sound blanket around him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Calm down, boy. But we just wanted to be a, a, bit, a, bit, a bit calmer. Yeah. But like, even then, mate, I was fucking like, I, we, we went out on the first night. I was fucked the whole, the mate, whole next day. Like, me and my mate jumped on the plane, right? Yeah. And fucking, it was, we looked around. It was just like stags, hen dudes. And yeah. we got talking to these boys. And they were like, boys, how long are you out here for? We were doing like three or four days. We were like, oh, we're, we're doing a week. Yeah. And everyone like was listening to the conversation. They looked at us and said, you're doing a fucking week in yeah. bed. Are you all there? Like, yeah. yeah. And me and my mate were just like, what have we got ourselves fucking in for? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it was true. We did like three days straight. Yeah. I was. I went to get some weed in the end. I just got to take the fucking yeah, edge yeah. off. Like, 
I was just in the Bit room. Of a night 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 yeah, just looking at everyone coming home, just like, oh, yeah. done, man. I, I, feel, I feel like the lucky, lucky men have got <coughs> on to what Benadorm is, though, because now they not only do they sell whistles and lights, they've got divorce papers as well. Come on, Gilboy, sign Gilboy, come on. Stand up, bring up. 15 euro, come on, boys. That's a hustling job, that, man. Like, you know, they look like a man, like, going round this. It's like, they'd be good, like, sales of you, wouldn't they? You know, them selling the phone, like, please. You know, one of the funniest things you can ever see is the lucky, lucky men. You know, they're not there legally. When when when, when someone says the police are coming and all of a sudden they just fucking scoop their entire yeah, thing yeah, up yeah. in a bedgie yeah. and they're fucking gone like a Scooby Doo villain. <laughs> fucking excellent. So fucking <laughs> they, funny. They like. sold my mate, uh, he wanted to buy Charlie and, yeah. uh, it was, it was late as fucking Magaluf, and he bumped into this one guy, and he was like, "You want coke? You want jelly? Blah blah." And yeah. he just went, "Well, I get this. It's in his mouth." <laughs> and he just, <laughs> and he yes, just went he up somewhere in this loft in his gob, right? And he just went, <laughs> You know Anne that? Frank, come with his tongue. Yeah. There he is. You have, you have the Anne Frank pill. You know, small the Anne Frank special, yeah. It comes with free diary. So, um... Diary? It was, it was fucking, um... It was paper towel, right? And he got yeah. back to the hotel room and me and the boys were like, he's been done by you now, right? Yeah. Cling film. No, it was like past the parcel and he wasn't doing the yes. fucking thing. And he's going like a yeah, small rat. And he's like, he's fucking l- lucky cunt. I'm going to find him now. And then for the rest of it, it was, and he was just unwrapping, unwrapping, unwrapping. Yeah. Nothing. Just just bare paper. Whoa. On all holiday then, he was out the front like, oh, I'm going to fucking find this one. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be back now. I think I saw that fucking twat. Like, and we were like, just made. Like, you don't, don't, buy, don't buy off of him. Yeah, like, fuck fuck it, you know. I, like, Go and see the Romanian bouncers. Yeah. <laughs> Sponship is complete composite doors, windows, and repairs. They specialize in all aspects of the double glazed industry, from UPVC to aluminium windows and doors and glass replacements. They also specialize in high quality, quality composite doors for over a hundred designs to choose from. They are a circus accredited company and they have over 10 years experience in the double glazing industry covering all of South Wales. They are a proud sponsor of this podcast. I say thank you very much. Also, the products also come with a 10-year guarantee for the free quotation. Please contact them directly on 0169 500 515. You can also find them on Facebook, Google, and also look at their high standard of quality work. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. I, remember, I was leaving fucking uh, years ago. I said, fuck, what a funny story. I was you know, like, when you like want to leave home because like your mother wouldn't ever go camping with your 10 year old at the mountain alone. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, and she's like, been responsible. <laughs> 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 your mother wouldn't let you go camping in the mountain on your own when you're 10. Yeah. I think that's fucking reasonable. Isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, 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 but all the other boys are on the vodka. <laughs> 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 but I'd say, I, I kick off, like, I'd phone childline and everything. Didn't have a case, really. <laughs> I didn't have a case! <laughs> And what, what's wrong, you Kate? Where, where should we touch you? No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she won't let me go camping on my own and mount it. Um, on, I got, I've got a complaint. What is it? My mum's looking after me too well. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three meals a day. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Oh, second a bed, second fucking. Fuck it. It's not fair. All my mates have been yeah. eaten by wolves. <laughs> and I'm not allowed to be. I want to burn a ghost bush as well. <laughs> Well, I remember, but I've seen the cartoons years ago, and like <laughs> when they were leaving, they'd have like um, a stick <laughs> yeah. with a handkerchief. Yeah, yeah. But well, yeah. I didn't know. And they'd be kicking the dust. Yeah, but, but I didn't know. So I was, I was a young guy. Yeah. I, I walked out the house with a fucking mop, yeah. <laughs> and I thought, <laughs> no, 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 just no, full of fucking Chris. But there was nothing. The, there, 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 was, there, was, there was nothing on the end of the mop, right? But I, 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 I just, she has pushed me to the edge. <laughs> I, I seen the films again. Joy. Like, I had been nice to you, oh, but now coming I, I to the edge. You, 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 you didn't have the full thinking of putting anything. Oh, what am I going to make the bag out of? You no, said, no, fuck it. No, it's, it's just a mop. A, a mop An action end. man coming out of a bag right. of crisps. <laughs> I'm fine, fuck off. I, I, I thought you had to have... I just thought it was a mop on the TV. I didn't even look. But it was, yeah? So I walk it out like that. And my brother was saying, I walk out like that. And my brother's like, I walk on the street. And he was like, I'm leaving. Whatever. He's like, all right, whatever. I don't give a fuck. More fucking, more crisp for him, whatever. So <laughs> Give me my duvet back. So he, 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 went, he, he go over and he went, Mom, Sandro's left home and he's taking the mop. <laughs> <laughs> you better tell him, go get my fucking mop back now. <laughs> so wherever, wherever I'm going, I'm going to make it as clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clean him. <laughs> 
they, they find you really easily. The police look for you. They just follow the clean trail. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck his bus stops clean. He pops out. More <laughs> Just missed the bus. Slopping <laughs> <laughs> everything. Ah, oh, it's fucking class. You bump into someone else, just run away. They've got a Hoover. You start a small business. <laughs> <laughs> They're a cleaning company that yeah. at the age of eight years old, like <laughs> clean office buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, it, it's like every tries running away from home. Yeah, I, mean, I, I remember trying to call my mum's bluff, so my mum would always do that thing where she'd fucking she shout to me and she'd fucking close the door, lock me outside, and she'd like, right, you don't fucking live here anymore. Mm. And I thought one day, oh, fucking, rather than just cry at the door like a cat, right? I thought, fucking, what I'll do is I'll just start walking. So I thought, oh, she'll come for me, mate. My nan lives down the marina. I walked to my nan's house. My mum didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I, I got my mum, my nan out the ring. They my test mom, you, they yeah, do. Let's see like, how far so, you'll go. So Simon just turned up you, and she yeah. goes, oh, one. Where he gone? She thought I fucking like, <laughs> fuck, mate. I, I don't care where he is. He's bound his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking he, he's eating all my Welsh farm food meats. I can <laughs> come and get him. It, it is a kind of like when you when your mother and father will call you bluff when you're a kid. Yeah, and then like you gotta go back like groveling. It's it's painful. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? mm-hmm. It is painful. Like, yeah. can I um can I come and live with you again? Yeah, like, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go go squeeze your room, mate. <laughs> yeah, next one. Ground, ground. <laughs> Grounded used to be the one. I like it, unless it was battering. Well, we'd be out in the rain. Unless yeah. it was fucking oh. severe. Yeah. Oh, I I would have to be out all the time. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah. I, and uh, the only time I played the PlayStation was when it's fucking raining. You play yeah. GTA or something, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, wow, please, I'm so sorry. And she'd be looking at my father like, should we let him out? Yeah, like, I don't know. He's gonna do it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I fucking won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> the door. Yeah, that's another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bad. No, and the dog. <laughs> Fuck. <off. laughs> no, and the goldfish. Fuck. <laughs> 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 okay. I might not know. Yeah. Classy dad, I bet. He yeah. said he was walking yeah. in with yeah. the dog. Yeah. He's going to the pub, dad. Sure, that's too far. You should have done that to the goldfish because he won't remember. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Fuck Dory. <laughs> Uh, but it's like it's like now I'm old. I realise that like like I used to get arrested and I you know used to take people's cars and you're all drunk and disordered, get nicked. Yeah. And, then your par- and the police the see the police will come out down of the interview room and your parents be there. Yeah. And then my dad would be just like ah. Oh. <laughs> and and they put the talk on and the police would like you'll have to turn your life around. You're going to end up like these and these. Yeah. And my dad just be like yeah. And I found out late, years later he's fucking used to pinch cars at Penland and that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, but when you're a kid, you think like, oh, they're fucking sensible and wise. Yeah, yeah. And they're worse than you, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our next sponsor is Jenkins Plumie. <laughs> you got a little leak. Ooh, you got a little leak. You got you want your bathroom changed. You want your kitchen changed. You want a new boiler. Your boiler's broke. Got problems. You want to sort it out. Jenkins Plumbing, baby. They base in Batal, but they cover all of South Wales and the UK. Uh, they can come up quick, really quick uh, for call outs, 24 hours a day. Anything like that can be done. Uh, how would you find Jenkins Plumbing then, Simon? Mm, very easy, kind sir. How very would you easy. Find it? Just go to jenkinsplum.com for a free quotation or just have a look what they're doing. Yeah, mm. well, look what they're doing. When you want to get a bit of plum, you go to jenkinsplum.com. Thank you very much. Club in Swansea is the kind of place. I, I only had a few times. It closed when I was again in like 18, 19. Yeah. And I, mean, I took, uh, <laughs> I went over there. Like, we all went over as, as like fucking from top. I went over and they go to the taxi or whatever. Yeah. And it was like a different world. You walk in like, you walk in like that. You know, downstairs. And you know, rooms. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you know, the vibrations. Bouncers are like intimidating. Top of the yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, ah, right. And they literally strip you down, wall it open, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And you get in, and I think, fuck it, this is like proper, like, secure. Yeah. That's what the door So I was like, ah, do you want pills, Mush? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How the fuck is he selling pills? He did it. Like, <laughs> the bounce on the studio. It was like, it's all in, in yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. And he walk in, he'd have a chill out room in, in escape. Yeah, innit? yeah. And you have someone like this. Yeah. And literally OD in, I guess. Yeah. And then the bouncers walk past them, like, oh, yeah. come around, whatever. That, but that was the culture back then, wasn't it? Yeah, you go in yeah. the chill-out Cl- room. You go in the chill-out room to fucking just chill. Yeah. Literally, because you've been flying. And yeah. if they give you a tip-top, you just yeah. be like... <laughs> 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 like, oh, there's Rick. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's DJ Kai on you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember once le- le- leaving my mate in a, in a chill out room. He was all right when I left him. And I said, I said, oh, are you coming up? He goes, oh, yeah, fucking a little bit. I went off for an hour, mate. I came back. Someone came up to me and goes, is that your mate in a chill out room? You need to come and get him. And I fucking walked in. He was bollock naked, just feeling the wall. <laughs> 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 oh, going on, yeah. Remember going to the toilets as well, right? When the fucking, the, oh, the, 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 the bass would vibrate yeah, so much. Yeah, you yeah. try no piss. You'd end up having a wank. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you may as well go for a wildy up the fucking alley. <laughs> no <laughs> toilets here. Oh, yeah. no, 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 you, you've got to grab some bog, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> and chuck your fucking t shirt. People see him, they're like, where's your socks gone, much? Long story. <laughs> I'm bu- buzzing the shit. Yeah. You know, people are drinking all the taps, so yeah. we'll buy a fucking drink, like, oh, for fuck's sake. This is Swansea, like, there. Uh, and, and at the toilets, like, they must have got smashed so many times. They're all metal, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's all, all metal. Tin, all like tin, like aluminium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The sinks are metal. Must be yeah. Top- no, yeah. No mirrors on the walls anymore. No, oh, no, fucking. thank fuck. And the sinks yeah. are... Yeah. And the sinks... Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 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 is DJ Kai on yet? <laughs> <laughs> and them kind of sinks, well, they're not attached to the wall. They're like bang onto the floor. Yeah. So yeah. no one can fucking hit them off. Yeah, or fucking... yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, what happened? When did that close escape, Ben? It was about. It's easy fuck. 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. It, it, fuck it. We went from like 2007 consistently every Saturday, fucking five for a ten, or let's have it. Yeah. And it would be, consi- it'd be, <laughs> it would be consistent until about 2010 or 11. Yeah. Moved on to Monkey Bar then. Oh, I love the no, that. Moved that, on to Drum and Bass and Meow. That's what uh, I, yeah. <laughs> a bit, a bit, bit of reggae as well. Like, yeah, love yeah, Monkey yeah. Bar. Monkey Bar, that's gone. That was up the... It's a DJ and yeah, MC. Yeah, the nice. Monkey Bar at the top of the... Yeah, yeah. the Turtle Bay now. Yeah. It, it was lit- Was that the bar where they used to have um, a Monkey Bar and Swan? <laughs> they used to have... Uh, pool cues caps on chains no that was Top Banana that oh was. Top Banana yeah, 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 they'd, yeah. Have, they'd have pool cues on chains yeah, yeah. Top Banana <laughs> that was I, I, I tell you in um, in uh, in Monkey Bar the fucking thing that proper used to fucking make me laugh was like when you'd have like uh, you'd walk in and now and again you'd get like posh girls there right and fucking like oh yeah like students yeah they'd come, they, they, they'd come in and, and they'd go oh, oh, what's going on here you'd literally you'd give it fucking two hours you'd fucking walk by you see the same fucking girl just fucking bend over his head you think in the wrong ass, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, on, fucking hell. Like, it might be you've a had something. You know, where's the bag? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What time would that monkey so bar posh. close then? Oh, mate, fucking Dave would keep it open till about half five. Yeah. But yeah. what you used to have, right? You'd fucking have the regulars who were into your DB, your dubstep, your yeah. fucking hip hop, and then you'd have the wine street lot then come mm. up because everywhere else was shut. Mm. R- and and they'd come up, to the, come up to the decks, like, can you play Rihanna and Eminem? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, this is the bar, mate. The fucking decks are over there like. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but when you be DJ you know they'd all you know all the Roy Deads and all the fucking um, you know the girls and this is 2010 the Roy yeah, Deads yeah. yeah and it, yeah or it basically they'd all come in and yeah. then we'd all just be like fuck off yeah, yeah, yeah it's all yeah. just vibing but yeah that's that's how it was it was it was that place to go if you were fucked yeah yeah or it was the place to go if you were into that scene yeah, you yeah. Know? so it was uh, yeah it was interesting Do you know, no, and it mean... was amazing I was gutted when it closed yeah. really good you know, why did it close down it's basically some guy bought it and, and apparently he was going to turn it into flats and the fucking business so I think now you got obviously got Turtle Bay and you probably got flats yeah, yeah, upstairs yeah. Wait, wait, it's on the corner then is it it's, it's basically you know what Cinema Co is in Swansea yeah it's right right fucking next to the flat I think I went among oh, that's class <laughs> I would have seen all yeah no, no, oh, you know laugh. where you were at there was no fucking egos in my yeah, 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 no yeah. egos at all yeah. well, what was the layout then walk in the big dance floor there oh no well you, you, it was a cafe slash bar so it'd obviously be open in the day for fucking drinks and coffee and food but yeah. then you, you'd have like the hip hop scene downstairs where it'd be more commercial and you'd go upstairs then into the drum and bass room yeah. but then you'd go up three tiers so <laughs> the, the drugs would get harder the, <laughs> the more level so everyone would be having a joint on the first level go to the yeah, second yeah. one they'd be on the meow you know, and then there was like Cornelius and I then on the third floor it's like yeah fuck you know what's happening yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, you know, you know when people say when you uh, when you take a few pills, you start coming up. In Monkey Bar, you went up. You basically, you just went up. Like, I'm coming yeah. up. I'm going upstairs, boys. Fuck I'm it. flying, yeah. boys. You're in the lift, yeah, mate. You're in the yeah. lift. No, so, it's, what, what, so then the second floor then, there were literally three rooms. That's mad. No, what it was, it, you'd have the first floor and second floor, but then the th- uh, you'd have the, what do they call it? The VIP room where you make the hosts feel welcome. You yeah, have, yeah, like, yeah. Drinks for them in the fridge and that. So loads of weed going around. Yeah. But it was more the terraces would go up. Yeah. So if ah. you wanted to just go up and have a fag or have a joint yeah. or do a couple of keys, always the bouncer would just be like sort of like... Yeah. You know, turning their back and that. I love how all impressed. All the cultures change now. I love how impressed you've got with uh, with free rooms there, mate. You know, <clears> when you go to a hotel, your mind's gonna be fucking blown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I There's know. two hundred and forty rooms. So. <laughs> <Simple. laughs> Our next sponsor is FID, natural treats, enrichments, and complete foods for the most important person in your house, your dog. Ooh. Ooh. FID supplied dogs are 
across the UK with natural products that have been air driving no nasty additives or preservatives or fillers. Plus, all the treats are to a European standard. <laughs> Find them on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram on their website, www.fidnaturaltreats.co.uk. As an extra bonus of watching this podcast and being a supporter, you can use the code PODCAST, all in capital letters, and get 10% off your first visit. One order, you get 10% off. Thank you. Box it out, though. What, you, you're like an avid box fan. What about think about t- Jake Paul and Tyson? I hate to say it, but as much as I love Tyson... Yeah. He's fighting somebody who's in his twenties. Yeah, and even though he can still fucking hit you through a wall, yeah, is yeah. he gonna catch him? Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know. He takes so many mushrooms, boys. You just can't like. Yeah, <laughs> you want him? You, I don't know. He just does what he does. Yeah, yeah, so unpredictable. Wait, wait, this is what thing, he did right? say was I, funny. He I, said, I, I, oh, I'm, I'm worried, like that, like the, of his age. I'm worried he's gonna get hurt, right? Because like, there's no denying that Jake Paul has got a bit of power. When he when he put fucking Mike Perry down, it's like, all right, he can fucking he can hit right, like a Mike can, Perry can take can, a fucking punch, box, like can, yeah, 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 yeah. And I. I think people just don't want to admit it. Yeah, yeah. He can. He's training with fucking yeah, some but of the, the best thing is, trainers there is. Yeah. People say about well, YouTube with this scenario. People forget, right? So even though we started late in boxing. Yeah. So like, I started, say you start when you as a kid now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You start like in, in an amateur boxing club around you. You go two or three times a week. Yeah. You spar local people, whatever. You might have yeah, a, couple, a couple of fights. Yeah, whatever, so, okay? Yeah. But you forget that he's a famous YouTuber mm. with endless money, right? So yeah, he's exactly. not getting trained by a guy who's a part-time bus driver who does... Diamonds who, from up the club. Yeah, who, who, who trains you, who does about arms box himself. He can bring in the best trainers, best nutrition. <clears throat> That's so what I'm his, saying. his yeah. four or five years in boxing could be 15 years because... It, he, he can bring the spa Yeah, in. he doesn't have to work. He can just say, right, this I, is my new fucking toy venture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can just yeah. throw myself into the gym for 10 hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he first started, you could see when his stance and the way he was moving, I was like, yeah, he's, he's obviously not a boxer, but yeah. now, no. now he's coming yeah. along. And I'm yeah, like, obviously, because yeah. he's doing it all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is going to be interesting, though, because <clears> obviously <throat> the only guy he fought that could actually box kind of was Tommy, Tommy Fury, Fury, and he lost to him. Yeah, but he was a good fight. He will not no. fight the pro boxer who's ranked and yeah. who's young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. yeah. The, problem, the only difference is, I think, with him as well, you have a lot of training, you want to blah, blah, blah. But then you, you come up against a fucking Mexican, right, or Russian, yeah. who've got the fucking dog the in chin. him. The yeah. chin, he, he, He's yeah. a little posh, but you don't YouTube, brother. He yeah. hasn't got the dog yeah. in him. And, like, yeah. and he, he, if he fought like a Mexican, like I was, he brought up yeah, yeah. Yeah. the 15 year old in a fucking shark in yeah. Mexico. Yeah. He's had two or three hundred amateur fights. Yeah. He's only escaped his boxing. Yeah. He is going to get a fucking mauled. Like, well, that, mate, that's because he hasn't got the dog in him. That's the difference between nationalities, you know. You've got those Mexican boxers who's got, who've got the dog in him, and you've got the Chinese boxers who've got a dog in him. <laughs> 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 Racist Simon's definitely on tricks. I've blown my fucking chance anyway. I've been doing Ugandan impressions the whole, the whole time I've been on the podcast. Listen to me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We, 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 had some, we had someone comment the other day about, some, about someone on a podcast. Like, yeah. Talk about him. Yeah. And I was like, oh, what should we do about this? And he's like, mate. This is, it's called the problematic pog. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> and, do, do, and do you know what happened, right? So we had a guest on, and they, and they fucking big. Oh, this this guy used to do that, used to do that, used to do that. I messaged the guy. I said, who the fuck is this guy? And he goes, oh, weird cunt. He goes, he's all over Pornhub. So I'm like, all right. So I messaged back saying, sure, I saw you on Pornhub. Literally messaged, deleted straight away. <laughs> 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 Shit, that, that guy was born, <laughs> Big Daddy, Big Daddy, sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> My cover's blown. Uh, so, it, 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 it is on like uh, so you probably get because your clips go quite big as well. It's like <coughs> I think oh, you, these people will never watch even an episode, but it's like they'll <coughs> they like chops about clips and stuff. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 what, yeah. What I find is that they get attention. That, like, remember in school, somebody'd wind you up, like, or you'd wind somebody up. You've got your fix then, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what they do. And then you go on their, pro- like, a, a lot of my haters, they've either got no fucking profile picture mm. or it's some, like, egotistical fucking posing towie fucking prick yeah, yeah who doesn't like the attention being on anyone else yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and then i'm like fuck off yeah you know what I mean? yeah absolutely what, like if you want what i've got on social media do, yeah. some, do something similar yeah Just yeah do yeah, some yeah. Content. You, you get it at I comedy mean? clubs as well mate you always see these <clears> fucking <throat> couples together at comedy clubs young couple she's fucking yeah fit as fuck. yeah guys there squeezing her like a fucking pimp <laughs> <ball, right? laughs> And I'm on stage like I'm talking about having a tiny cock here, mate. I ain't trying to fucking <laughs> take your bird, like. I know. But, but they're, they're all, like, yeah, yeah, they're but always but, the ones that heckle, but, but, always yeah. like.
Sponsor for this episode is Avonales, absolute legends on Station Road, Avonales and Fine Wine, you can get craft beer, just a general good time, stay in with them, we'll take out, they don't care. So Avonales is Vitorba's number one supplier of uh, grassroots entertainment, um, you can call me like that once a month also, we've got grassroots bands, they've got a lot of entertainment, you can come in and have a drink, have a laugh, great, great supporters of local acts and uh, local arts, and have a good time. I went to go, right? Fucking, I went over to uh, my mate's house, like, when we were kids, and I was school, whatever, and he said, my mother's making tea, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. And it like one two dinosaurs, and like she shared a tin of beans between like three of us. I'm like, I have oh. a tin of beans of my own in the house. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what I mean? Six slices what? of yeah. XXX fucking yeah, braces yeah, yeah, bread. Yeah, yeah. Like, For snack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> For three right, right, so meals. <laughs> one two, one dirty dinosaur, I'm the reason they fucking extinct. <laughs> <laughs> Get the beans in the bowl! <laughs> Get Bernard Matthews on the phone! Oh, get out of here! Your belly is the meat show that took out the turkey dinosaurs! <laughs> Jamie Oliver documentary was like, see this guy? <laughs> I couldn't have stopped to it. <laughs> you just have to make your own turkey to fuck off! <laughs> You know when you go into museums and they show you the bones of the dinosaurs, <laughs> mate? That's an x-ray of your belly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever, I think that's a bit of turkey ham. Remember that turkey ham? <laughs> well, well, like, you can't have turkey, it's either turkey or fucking ham. <laughs> and they are shot down. <laughs> Yeah, like what, what, what was, was it? Turkey ham, like. Uh, I used to take packs to school, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was the one then? You used to have uh, the turkey the drums. There was a drumstick. The drumsticks, yeah. It was in the shape of a fucking drumstick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You have a bit yeah. of a cat bone when you bit into it. Yeah, like, and then the fucking deadly ones, the crispy pancakes. Fuck, oh, fuck yeah. it. And your tongue's in, the, off, in yeah. the toaster, oh, yeah. yeah. You bite into one of those, your eyebrows be gone, wouldn't they? <laughs> fuck <laughs> me, man. You come out looking like Simon Weston. What the fuck is going on here? On the other ham and cheese. And I'd be like, that far, you fucking buy a <laughs> we do buy quick, can we go for milk? <laughs> That's why all these girls get the lip filler now, is to repair the damage from the yeah. fucking, from the crispy pancakes when they all were kids. Hold them up. Yeah. <laughs> the third thing I've <laughs> Fart coach. <laughs> yeah. And you bite it, burn your mouth, and still can't eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I said, yeah, with yeah, a yeah. in your mouth. Yeah, fucking hell. they were deceiving, man. It was them and the chicken Kievs that were fucking. You bite oh. into them, like it was like it was like rimming the devil, wasn't it? It was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Licking the tip of the devil's yeah, asshole. Yeah. Like. And, and even one would burst in the oven, though, and he'd be like, and he'd all go, yeah, just yeah. deflate, and they'd be just trying to tip the butter bag on yeah, yeah. before like, it dries I saw, out. So we can glass, I'd give him the CPR. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, fucking, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a genuine fact, right, but it's just genuinely true. You know, you know when the um, Hiroshima bomb went off, there was a guy that was there, right, and just before it went off, he got a fucking train then the Nagasaki, and then he was in Nagasaki, and they bombed Nagasaki bombed as well, as well right? yeah. He survived both of them, mate. He had a fucking crispy pancake last week. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> My time I thought come. that was going into some serious <laughs> thing, and I thought, nah, he hasn't changed his ways. He's still a prick. <laughs> <laughs> and his funeral, he survived this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, it was uh, it was a sad day. He ate um, yeah. crispy. <laughs> what, he's eating his cat? No, crispy pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, fuck, that's another one, isn't it? Do, do, if a bomb come down to fucking Wales, isn't it? Like, what? What, we, a fucking um, an atomic bomb? Yeah, what we do, like, fuck off, like, said the bomb. Yeah. Would you, would, you, would you be scared if, 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 if Wales... If, 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 you know, it's a good question. My skin's it, burnt it, enough from eczema anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> like, improvements. Like, yeah. Oh, Tom Ricks is all right. Fucking, I'm, I'm the only non-flaky one here today. <laughs> like, <laughs> Where's my moisturizer? <laughs> right, you know? Uh, oh, fuck it out. <laughs> me and two shaken vax is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's bad. That's just snow. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, what was that? Hey, ah. You head but me, it's like being inside with little snow globes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you reckon, do you reckon if, if the bomb come down, it'd be London, even if it London, it'd affect us all, wouldn't it? We'd so yeah. Small, like. What would you do in the last moments, though? If you like, it's, if you had the warning now and they say, look, there's been a, a nuclear bomb launched, it's going to take half hours to get you, we can't stop it, 
what would you do? What would you do? What's the last thing you do? I'd raid McDonald's, I would. Would you? Free in a... Yeah, yeah. Reckon you'd go to turn to food. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'd turn Are to you fucking the that? hardest drugs ever, I would, and just, no, just get right over that, yeah. though, But then the thing is with that, if you, if you got your name, and they go, I love it, like that. And yeah. then all of a sudden they go, right, they, they've, they're going to turn back now. Yeah, yeah. You're like, fuck them on heroin now. That's what you think. <laughs> with, a cheese, <laughs> with a cheeseburger... <laughs> I'm already on him anyway. <laughs> Mate, it's not... It's not Hitler goes, nine, 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 Oh, phone Darren up there, no? <laughs> and you're like, where'd you get a voice from? I don't know. <laughs> Ask him if you can lay on. He fucking turn back. It's not the mega bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nuclear... He can't turn back a nuclear bomb. Oh, you're not, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone's like, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh it's going. <laughs> that is going. <laughs> Vehicle, re- bomb, reversing. <laughs> No, 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 we fucking say when in Britain, it's like the trains be fucking delayed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck us, you're in two fucking days. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the transport for Wales would in charge of it. never turned up. <laughs> transport for Wales in charge of the nuclear bomb. Like, um, I'm very sorry, it's um, 39. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a smack head in front of the Where train. did this bomb then? Right, it's been sent on a replacement bus service, <laughs> but it will be you in about seven hours. <laughs> Keep an eye on your email. It keeps, it keeps your Russians updated. <laughs> like, oh my God, it's, it's travelling through blind and mice on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it nothing uh, wrong? Like, the problem is with these corporate things, and I, I, I kicked off yesterday with a breakfast, I shouldn't have remember. Yeah. But anyway, but um, when I kick off all things, right, it's like, if, if you go to a small business and something's wrong and they yeah. fuck you over, you can kind of complain to the owner. Yeah. But the problem is when I, I've a few times now, I come back from gigs and I got late and the bu- the train gets cancelled, last train back. Yeah. And it's bus forever. National Express. It really fucking drives you insane. But the, you can't offend to anybody. Yeah, yeah. Because... It's just a guy driving a bus. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's, he's nothing to do with it. So it's like, fuck it. Is he more annoying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. Like, when you see these cunts and kicking off people, where I, I'm like, oh, just fuck off, mate. Yeah, You're yeah. moaning to someone who cannot do fuck all yeah, about it's it. It's not their problem. They're just no. doing their job. Our next sponsorship is JK Website Development. Um, not only is a website, he's our producer, Jack. He's absolutely class. Um, he's all website designs. He can upload his stuff. He can keep you track of your websites. He has all aspects of website design and also any audio, any filming, any photography you need to do in. He can do it all. Can he do it all, Simon? He can do it all. And he can also keep on top of two drunken retrobates, which is amazing. <laughs> JK Website Design. Um, go on their website or Facebook page to follow. Thank you. When I was young, like Alex, oh, my, my, my grandparents are quite young, but they're still, like, old, aren't they? Yeah. So you see, you, you, you see some of their grandparents, guy, like, they dressed in, like, they dressed old. Yeah. You go to the old woman's house, guy, like, my, like my great nan, like, and she'd have all doilies everywhere. Yeah. Polished brass. Yeah. Like, it, everything was... The smell. Yeah, you and know the smell, straight and, and, away. And the front, the front yeah. room, and she'd have, like, all, all her best china in it. It's like a mac, you don't go in there, let's yeah, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> And like you look at like nans now, and they like they don't TikTok and all that. Yeah, and yeah. They quite like trendy. They wear tracks with bottoms. Like my nan would wear fucking tracks with bottoms. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like it's like fucking weird, isn't it? I remember nans go to the gym now and have Botox. Yeah, now. Yeah. we are getting older, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Our mothers are becoming grandmothers. Yeah, yeah. Until like a fucking twelve-year-old, our parents' age now, our grandparents, and they. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking flat caps of. But but, but even but even when people were in the sixties, they looked. Old. Oh yeah, sixties now don't look that. You like there, there is there's a thing. There's a genuine a scientific study where they think that uh, humans are starting to age slower now. Even though you go through the years, you're genetically yeah, yeah. aging slower. So if you look at uh, back to the the, war, the uh, World War Two days, pictures of forty year olds. People used to retire at forty because <laughs> they were fucked, mate. Like, and you look at them and they they they're, they're yeah. fucked. just coughing yeah. up suck like yeah. <laughs> mate, and, and they'd live another ten years and then they'd, they'd be fucked like yeah yeah. yeah. But we're living longer and looking younger, but we're getting more dementia and Alzheimer's because yeah. our body's staying all right, but our brain's the, fucking yeah, dying. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know what yeah. I, mean? that, uh, I think that's what it is. We're living pro- like too long. Yeah, Processed yeah. food and stuff we eat as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I look after myself. You eat some. Oh yeah, yeah. I know one that would eat them. <laughs> 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 I know, but it probably never boiled eggs, huh? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> but my, my, my mate was working McDonald's, right? And he'd say at the back of McDonald's, he'd fucking my years ago, like buns and stuff would fall on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Like these have like rat. Obviously, like they call rats and McDonald's, and they're like, coming, what's happening now? Yeah, yeah. And, but he said, no, the rats. They come in, no, what's happening, mate? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and he grabbed you anyway. No, <laughs> my flurry. He's in a gab. Ice machine's broken. The, ra- the rats, the rats would eat the fucking rolls of the bread, the fuck all, like. Yeah, yeah. That's how fucking much chemicals in the fucking shit. It's bad, man. mate. So uh, all our shit inside of us, like, and yeah, bad, yeah. Isn't it? Well, they ban it in Iceland, don't they? So they no fast food in Iceland. And in Iceland, when they ban it, they put this Big Mac into a glass. Yeah, it's container. still, like, yeah. 20 odd years later, it's still not decomposed. It's in no. the glass. 
fucking I've seen her. Fucking and then mad, next to it, it, they've got Katie Price, right? And she... No, she's not even the first tit job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first job. Yeah, yeah. And she's not decomposed either. It's Thought. fucking weird. Uh, so, Tom, is this something that you requested on this podcast, mate? And I think it's a bloody great idea. <laughs> so, uh, you claim that you are the number one only Foons and Horses fan out of uh, everyone we know. And Sandro... You claim you are the number one f- only fools out, 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 fan out of everyone we know. So let's find out who is the biggest fan. We're going to do dun, 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 a six-question quiz to find out. Uh, do a jingle for it. Oh. We need a buzzer. Huh? Oh, yeah, actually. We'll have to buzz in. Yeah, we're, 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 we're buzzing. Or, or do you go... Or do you go question, 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 question? No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll do the buzz in because if because if you both get them all right, it's going to go on for fucking five hours and oh, I can't be bothered <laughs> to do it, boys. I want to go home like, man, I've, I've, I've booked this shit on Katie Price. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you haven't had a shift for two days, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, mate. Yeah. built up to it. Right, question one. Nice, easy one to start with. What is the full name of the character known as Del Boy? <laughs> Del Boy. Yes, you had that one. Yeah, Lovely. I don't know um, being polite. Right. Um, number two. What is Del Boy's brother's name? Rodney. Rodney. He were first to that one. One. Rodney Charlton yeah. Trotter, to be precise. Fucking right. hell. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> He's going in. What is the name of Del Boy and Rodney's grandfather? Edward. No. Uh, his grandfather. Cyril? No, his, his name's Edward. Gra- grandfather. <laughs> Granddad. Edward Trotter is it's his not, name. I is think not. you're thinking of the uncle, are you? No. no. Albert, that is. Al- Albert, the uncle. Fucking yeah, hell. No. This is. Charlson? No. Oh, oh, fucking hell. I'm pretty sure it is Edward. It's not. It's not. It's, it's, it's I've read up on it. It starts with C, doesn't it? No. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. No, uh, no. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Proper old man's name. Cyril? No. Well, how, what kind of name is it? Well, like, how many old men do you know called Cyril, by the way? <laughs> Cyril the Swan is getting on yeah. a bit, though, ain't he? I'm, I'm positive. Charles? It's we'll have to check after. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's Arthur. Oh, is it? That's Arthur. What say, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that's right. But we'll, 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 we'll fact check that after, actually, because I, I'm, it Tom's might be wrong. Like. Um, what Disgusting. does Del Boy often say to express something that is guaranteed to make money? Kushti. No. I can't say it anymore now. What is it? What again? does Del Boy uh, often say to Lovely Jubbly! something that's guaranteed to make money? Lovely Jubbly? No. Apparently, it's, you know it makes sense. You know it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number five. What does, uh, what kind of watch does Rodney accidentally smash in the episode A Touch of Glass? What watch? What kind? Hang on, that makes no fucking sense. Who oh. wrote this quiz? <coughs> Sorry, what... Katie um, Price. <laughs> <laughs> this is shit on her. Uh, what does Rodney accidentally smash in the episode with a touch Chandelier. of glass? Chandelier. Chandelier. Hey, granddad smashes it, not Rodney. Well, no, 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 he hits the no, nail, doesn't he, no, 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 and it drops. Yeah, I'll be honest, boys. This Rodney quiz, doesn't right, do it. I asked ChatGTP to do this quiz, and previously I was worried about artificial intelligence taking over. Now I'm not too fucking sure. <laughs> what a stupid <laughs> cunt ChatGTP <laughs> is. <laughs> it's coming, Del Boy. Yeah. Um, We're ready. Last one. They got, they got the blood. Yeah. A, ch- a chance to tie it. Uh, in the episode, the Jolly Boys out in where did they go? Margaret! Uh, I was there. I was there the other day. I was there the other day, actually. Yeah. I went there the other day, yeah, yeah, yeah. day, day like, all right. And um, I was, so I was really excited to be honest with me. Josh, I've done gigs in there. Yeah. And I stayed in, and we went. I went to the woman. There's another woman in that house. She's actually Mrs. there. Mrs. Cridland yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Um, the, what's it called? The Porta. Uh, oh, oh, the Porta Bella. Or something. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went. The, is, oh, what's it called that one? I went. Went to that house. She's still was there. she in? She wasn't there, no. Ah, fair. No, and uh, I, I, but Margaret is like, it's pro- but they like the, the big wheels all there and that. No, no. But I, I look around, I was like, oh, fucking, that's what that was. That's fucking mad. Yeah, it's a yeah, good fucking yeah. episode. That's where it? the great Ramondo lives. Yeah. 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 But he, didn't, he say, didn't he say that that was uh, his favourite episode to film as well? Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. class. I, I, ones I love, man. I love the one when they go... Um, to Hallenbach. That's my favourite. Right? But, but, but I, I love, love when they go to the broad door. Yeah, Miami twice. Yeah, that's a good they one. They get sleepy, do, that does. Do, I love it. Do, do, do. Yeah. So we're in the city. You got yeah. Um, what are you doing? Picking up guys in bars. Yeah. It? <laughs> Rico. I, I, when also the old, the real early episodes. Remember the episode of when they bought a uh, they bought a car off that guy. Off Boise, yeah. yeah, yeah the, uh, go, go West. Yeah, and, and they sold it like that. And then they, yeah. and it, was re, it was really old. There was really 
Early, like the early ones, F, F type. Yeah, yeah. The, the early episodes are not as good, I reckon. Yeah. they warm up a little They're bit. more grounded. Yeah, they're more like sort of we haven't got a budget. Let's. But yeah, that's exactly yeah, what happens. So, so originally you pitch something, and the production company would say, right, this is your budget. So it's normally one yeah, location, yeah. two locations. When they trust you and they give you more money, that's yeah. when you fucking what expand it, was, it. Like um, John Sullivan, the writer, was, yeah. was a set designer with the BBC. And yeah, yeah. He basically said, I'm going to do the flat, do the pub. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, they didn't have to employ somebody else. He yeah. was already doing it, so they yeah. were like, "Right, let's last fucking." Cl- but they, get but it back then, it was all in house, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 it yeah. Was, mate. yeah, yeah. So I, I saw the car to guy the BBC uh, a couple of months ago, and he was saying about um. Yeah. But back in the day, he, he was a set design all that a production type, and then he said it was all ba- down Cardiff forever. Yeah. And everybody worked for BBC, the, it's a, even to the janitors, everyone yeah, yeah. BBC. Yeah, yeah. BBC pension, he he, I don't say his pension, right, but he's a big pension. I don't yeah, yeah. They had like a, re- a really good job for the BBC back in the day was being a carpenter, because you'd go in and literally fucking be employed to build all the sets all the and sets. stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. And you'd constantly work for the BBC. Yeah, like, yeah, you'd, you'd, yeah. Even in Lantau, Towers, all yeah, of yeah. Class, but, like. I, I, I still think... As you know, a production, you always think that there actually is a flat new. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even, even, now, you say, even now, you're like, ah, it's still a flat. Yeah. yeah. But it's mad. There's a live audience for one of them. Yeah, but you're also aware that the minions aren't real, right? That's not a TV <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> but it only goes north, is it? The, the flat is um, a studio audience. And, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, always, always on screen, the laugh. If you, if you look at Sid's calf as well and all the different episodes, it's all different. They're all different calves each time, like. Yeah, so because they're only there now and again, you know, like fucking Aldo's calf or like Italian coffee. Yeah, 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 it looks like that in the first few episodes, but in the later ones where um, they do Batman and Robin, yeah, it looks they've like used it, an actual calf. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right, isn't it? Yeah, it look, it looks more like fucking bigger and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all fucking man. When Delroy pinches all the cutlery, doesn't he? And he's and then yeah. when he has to pay in full, <laughs> and they all draw <laughs> everywhere. Like. What's your favourite sitcom of all time? <clears throat> I, I, uh, all who's awesome to me is the goat. They were. Yeah, it's my favourite. Oh, it was awesome. uh, Royal Family. Oh, good show. Yeah, Royal yeah. Family's okay. a good one. Yeah, working yeah. poor, working class. Fuck it. The, yeah. the writing in that right, the nan in that right. Yeah. I can see my nan and her. Yeah. It's, it's so fucking close to home. You can't have a middle class person write that show. I know, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's the little things. You know when nans make a big deal about fucking, they talk, they go off on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, one episode, she's like, oh, so-and-so, uh, one of my friends, Marion, died. Yeah. Uh, her husband used to follow her around quick save. She'd be putting stuff in the trolley. You be taking stuff out, yeah, yeah. And she's like, now she's in heaven. She can have all the biscuits she wants. <laughs> yeah, you know, just yeah. talking yeah. just stupid <laughs> stuff. Well, like, well, well, like well, 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 um. Of a royal family as well. It's not like the him and her and Jay motherfucking thing. That yeah, she, yeah, yeah. But then when she was ill, he's upset. Yeah, because it's they, like even it. even though yeah. it's like he'd that. Been the everyone hates mother-in-law. mother-in-law. Yeah, yeah, everyone's mother-in-law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, you kind of like that. Them. That, that, yeah. that, that yeah. episode, the Queen of Sheba episode, is one of the best bits of TV you've ever seen. It's like, great. Because it's yeah. in two parts, wasn't it? Yeah. And I remember the first part, like you said, Jim, Jim and her are still having a go at each other, and it's funny as fuck. The second part, I cried my fucking eyes out watching it, man. You know when Nan died and they all went to the hospital because like that is. Like it, yeah. it was so real yeah. to a situation when people's yeah. nan dies all rushing yeah. the one place. And then the like, start oh of the God, next like, episode, the Christmas special, it just the camera just goes does a close up of the TV and she's on her uh, urn uh, is on yeah, the TV yeah. and her face just smiling. Yeah, and it's yeah. like just working class people would do yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know I, I, what I mean? What I love, yeah. I, oh Jim, <coughs> always avo- I always avoided work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I grew up like I'm and I made stars and he's all, he's like he's like a twig now and he's like uh, him and um, who, who's the Onslow? What's his name? Twiggy. Twiggy. Mm. Oh, oh, I, 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 and he's there, like, oh, <coughs> and, they, and, they, and they do it, he's sweating like fuck, he's there, and they clean in the wall. The paint, paint, yeah, the paint yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a guy with a tea towel. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, just, it's just class, isn't it? He's get that bacon on, Anthony, will you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's a guy. Oh, but he had, and he, he, he had every character right. Like obviously you had fucking Dopey Dave, innit? He yeah. was like thick as shit, and and he's with like um, what, what was her name? Denise. Denise. Denise, Denise Gass, she's probably a bit, bit slaggy. Yeah, a, a yeah. Bit, a bit yeah, of a girl about yeah. day. But now said I was Dopey Dave. Yeah. And they all on the sofa eating fucking Maltesers. Yeah. And, yeah. You had the, the, and the and the mother then she's like every working class mother. Yeah. Who's like. I'm going home, Nanny Lega, but Andy comes in, you can have a bacon roll, yeah, looks yeah, after yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's like, Anthony, get Joe a Kit Kat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got Anthony then, he's just he's like, just the, the, the strawpy teenager. He's the Rodney. Yeah, yeah, yeah the strawpy yeah. teenager coming yeah, in the car. Yeah, yeah. She can't get a word. Are you right, Anthony? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the characters were I, I, so like council estate working class. Yeah. Everyone, even if you're not know your family, you know a family exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, and, yeah. and the way Jim rinses him, like uh, Mary next door, she's like Irish Catholic, and yeah, she's yeah. Uh, she's on about something. And Anthony comes in and he's dyed his hair. And I'd like remember those blonde. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she goes, Jim, d- doesn't Anthony look uh, look nice with his new haircut? And he goes, No, he looks like a little gay boy. And he just, <laughs> he just and he's just you no know, typical dad rinsing the yeah, sun. No, yeah. he goes, Anthony. He looks like a little choir boy and he's like, yeah. he looks like a little gay boy yeah well, my, <laughs> fa- fa- my favourite boy. line ever in the royal family was uh, when uh, Darren has stepped in some shit on the way in right and they're trying to work it out and yeah. like, who's stepped in shit and it's, it's, all, it's all his shoes he's taking his shoes off like that and then Joe is drunk and he starts singing that really nice song yeah, and then yeah. Nana's crying and as it dies down he just goes I can still smell shit in yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, you go sad and then yeah. bang, you yeah. have a laugh. Yeah. That's what Fools and Horses was good at. Uh, yeah. if, if that, um, apparently they wrote, <coughs> so Dave and her wrote it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah Craig, 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 Craig Cash, Cash and, and, um, and Karen. Yeah, 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 but apparently they wrote, uh, apparently there's a sick comedy, he, he didn't, he didn't have a few episodes, but it'd be really, really When funny. he's in the pub? In the pub. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, um, after, after, no, what was it called now? Fucking hell. Ah, uh, mate, I was reading up about this yeah. yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And really, they had every character, but it was a proper yeah, yeah. like 90 sitcom be, yeah, really because good. what had happened was Carolyn Hearn had started writing it with him and she pulled out so he ended up finishing it on his own so, it so, so his there own, wasn't yeah. the magic between them for the rest of the episodes because yeah. she went off to Australia <clears> and she <throat> wrote uh, Dossa and something it was uh, about this Australian couple going through marriage counselling and that's fucking excellent it, it? Was, it was on BBC Australia it's She's fucking a brilliant genius, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what was that thing she did Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Merton Mrs. Merton yeah, yeah. she played an old woman it was a bit of like um a rip, uh, like um, the rip, 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 rip him in. She like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Burning man, come on in. She ripped up. That's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She asked Burning man, and she goes, "Now Hitler's dead. Who are you going to vote for?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what happened to that? Like, it was kind of golden. Like, I, didn't, I didn't know. Like, obviously, before my time, yeah. Sean Locke had a fucking sitcom, didn't he? Oh, um, uh, hospital uh, or something. Or, or no, flat. no. Seven, flat. seven stories high. Seven stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genius. Excellent. It is. It is. These lovely bits in it. He lives with a with a Chinese guy, right? And there's his one part where he's just walking past his own window and he just he goes, Hi! And the shiny goes, goes, What's going on? He goes, I don't know. He goes, but you never be too careful. <laughs> And what was, what was the other one? They worked in a sitcom and they, he worked in like a bookshop uh, or a PC shop. It was fucking... Oh, the phone shop on Channel 4. No, yeah. no, no. It was a, a comedian. It was a Dylan Moran. Was Dylan Moran, Ben and Bailey. All, yeah, they were all smoking. It like, was uh, called... Uh, Black Box. Black Box. Yeah, 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 yeah. You forget about how many there was, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even yeah. going back to Wales then, you had High Hopes now. Yeah, Class. yeah, yeah. What, uh, th- them kind of sitcoms, one shoot, they're gone, aren't they? Yeah, Father yeah, Ted, yeah. I fucking binge it. Oh, yeah. Father Ted's <laughs> class, Father mate. Father Ted. If you, th- these kind of one, one <coughs> shoot sitcoms, they're the yeah. thing of the past. I, I, I tell you what, I absolutely fucking love watching as well, just because it's so ridiculous. It's always funny in, in Philadelphia. I haven't seen oh, it. Yeah, oh, it is good. Yeah, God, yeah. Mate, it's fucking um, ridiculous. Like It's fuck. I haven't watched it for a while. The Danny DeVito. Owns, um, yeah. yeah. Is it old school? Uh, it, may, it is a yeah. proper old school sitcom. Yeah. Have to watch they it. take over a pub, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they it, own it's a pub, just, don't they? It's ridiculous. Like, and everything that happens, it is fucking mental, yeah. but yeah. it's just excellent. I find American sitcoms uh, wrote in. Is it? It? I, I yeah. find American sitcoms, where I find them, a bit too much. Yeah, I mean, like a bit over, like no, nah, like I, yeah. I, like so it's too silly. Like I, I do, like my mates, like a lot. The other one, the the um the big black guys, they're in a, they're in a, a cops, they all cops and stuff Brooklyn, like that. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn yeah. My, my yeah, yeah. mates love that, but I walk, yeah. I try walk, and like yeah. Mm, do, you, do you know what happened? Know. Right, Rick, when Ricky Gervais did the British Office, yeah, then he helped produce him and Stephen Merchant the American Office, yeah, yeah. and it's completely changed America's sense of humour. They yeah. get that British sarcasm satire now. Yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. before it was like Friends. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Fraser. Yeah. Like now you've Marsh got um, Superstore. Yeah, you've got yeah, Brooklyn yeah. Nine Nine, The Office. It's yeah. that sort of British like sarky humour. Yeah, yeah. It's like that intellect sort of humour. I think they get money. they get in it. Now. There's still yeah. money in it though because <clears throat> that they've seen that that IT was got IT crowd. Yeah, yeah. They were on it like some like two million episode. Yeah, yeah, Fucking yeah. But but even then, mate, you look back and the IT uh, the IT crowd was a good few years back. Now I, I think genuinely TV, unless you're with Netflix, is fucking dead. There ain't yeah. no money in it anymore. No, I it's gone. Yeah, like, yeah. The BBC can't pay anymore, man. No. That's why they fucking they, they get production companies in. They've just commissioned that Aberdeer, uh, Abu Vale's uh, cartoon, oh, haven't they? Do you know anything 
about that. Yeah, it's, it's good. I've seen really the, the old clips on YouTube. Yeah, Have yeah. you seen them? So, um, Golden Cobra. Golden yeah, Cobra, but it was called it. something, something of the veil. The, the the veil clip, yeah. It was called They're the veil. Just the veil. veil. Yeah, 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 and the yeah, clips yeah. are like six year old or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was looking through last night. Yeah. Producing, he? yeah, 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 mate, it's class. So, so I saw the pilot for the for, for that, the Golden Cobra. Yeah. And it's really funny. Yeah. Like, So they've got to put it on after 9 p.m. because yeah. it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. really offensive stuff. I'll have to look at that, yeah. But that's good. I'm glad I'm glad BBC Wales are taking a chance like that because they've been dead for years. When I first saw it, that sort of in there, like, I was like, why are you fucking I've never seen you. Why are you asking you guns? I, yeah. I, I'm the king of Welsh accents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, have, you, have you ever seen that old school series? You might, I don't know if you've seen it. A, a Satellite City. Have you ever seen that? Oh, I've seen that. That's yeah. a fucking random. How old is that? Have a look. It's, is it's, it? It's before, before High Hopes, the, the policeman in High Hopes wrote that, wrote it as well. Yeah. But he's in. It's a, it's a weird one, isn't it? It's, it's set in a campsite, you know? In What's his name? We were no, f- it's, 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 it's set in a. Boyd a, Clark. We were filming with him, weren't we? On that. On no, Satellite Tales. Like, yeah, yeah. And Satellite City, because it's like. So look at the old terrace houses. In he, the wrote, he wrote them all apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a mad one. Yeah, it's yeah. class, like. Have a look at that. Anyway, that's been the episode. Yeah, nice little, <laughs> nice little chat. We've uh, gone now. We've gone off fucking script. comedy at the end that was just for us, really. Yeah. <laughs> you might uh, like it, you might not like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check out any of the sitcoms uh, we've seen. And if, <laughs> yeah. if you do buy them, give us some fucking commission, please. No. That'd be nice. <laughs> but I, but just going back to that quickly, I was watching those that um, Ebu Vale thing. Yeah. Because I'm planning some new Welsh accents videos. And yeah. I was like, right, what areas haven't I done? Yeah. So I try, I want to preferably, I'd go there, sit in a cafe and listen to everyone talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the accents I know are going nailed down, but I'm like, right, let's try Ebervale, Pont de Pree. Yeah, yeah. Fucking um, mm. some areas in North Wales. So yeah, I just have a look on YouTube and I'm like, right, okay, I'm going to yeah. nail this down. And uh, yeah, so I've got a bit of work coming up now. You're, such, <laughs> you're such a creep, Tom. Just I going know, around I listening know. to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 He's had that cup of tea for two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why has he got a traffic cone on his ear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, if you are free, I'll come with you to the coffees now. <laughs> No, even, even though I'm on a diet, you don't do pies. Don't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's Italian, much. Let's go and see. He's, 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 he's like the, the, the bald one. He, he's had one cup of tea for twelve hours. The other one's had four breakfasts. <laughs> yeah. He's unstoppable. But then I've told t- him three times we don't do dessert. Yeah. But you, you know, like t- 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 Tom's got like a list of all, all the different sounds of the accents. You've got a list of the bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bacon, a bit salty. <laughs> <laughs> Newport, I think it was yeah. Sam. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, that's been the uh, problematic pub podcast episode twenty three. With myself, Simon Emmanuel, Sandra Ford, and Tom Rich. Do you, you, you want to plug anything? You, are, you, are you up to anything more? Do you plug anything uh, before you go? Yeah, just give me a follow on social media if oh. you haven't already. Tom Rich comedy. Um, I do Dobby Darren. I do Welsh accents. And I come on these podcasts. Yeah, yeah. love And it's amazing. And big up to the boys for having me. Thank you. Ta-da. Ta-da.